Hey guys, how's it going? So if you have an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller, this just might be one of the most important videos that you watch, okay? Um, first things first, if you're on Xbox, you're gonna wanna go into your Xbox accessories. If you are on PC, you may need to download the Xbox accessories app onto your PC, and then you can access it from there, okay? So let's go ahead and hop into Xbox accessories. Um, and then go to your controller, okay? So your Elite Series 2 controller, and then go to configure. And then once you're in your profile that you are using, because um, you can set up three different ones, go straight into your edit tool here, and then go to your thumbsticks, okay? So you'll use right and left bumpers to get to the thumbsticks. And first things first, check your sensitivity curve. Um, when I got the controller, sensitivity curve was set to delayed, which you definitely don't want it to be delayed at all. Um, I just leave mine on default, but the calculation, for some reason, the Xbox Elite Series 2 controller is the only controller that comes default with radial. So you're gonna wanna go in there and change that to access independent. So what radial means is, you know, what exactly what a radius is. It's more of like a circular um, movement or motion. I did a video where I talk about radial and axis independency with uh, with dead zones. So this is what an axial dead zone looks like. It's got your um, your up, down, right, left movements here. And then your radial is, it's more of a circle, right? You don't want your controller set to radial movement, all right? You wanna make sure to put that on axis independent. Um, the best way I can describe the difference in it with Halo Infinite, which is the main game that I play, um, if you have it set to radial, your aim feels like it's kind of floating because it's not true to your axis and it's not true to your movements. So it feels very weird. It feels very floaty. Even when you're just barely moving your stick, it feels like it's kind of like drifting around and it's not good. Once I found out about this axis independent thing, my aim has been so much better and it feels so much better. So um definitely go in make sure you change that but also make sure that you do it with both your sticks so this is my left stick and this is my right stick so if you want to go in there and make sure you change both of those check that out and make sure everything is set how you want it to for your controller okay if you guys have not gone into this app before and you own this controller you guys are going to make want to make sure that you do that and make sure you update your controller all right so if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I'll leave a link to this dead zone video that I was just showing you guys. If you guys haven't seen this, it's a pretty important video for working on dead zones within the game Halo Infinite. Not sure if you guys play that at all, at all but that is the main game that I play and I stream that on Twitch every Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern. So if you guys are into Halo Infinite content, you wanna check that out, I would appreciate that, but yeah. This is super important stuff, all right? So make sure that you guys check this out. Um, like I said, if you have any questions on how to access this, uh, make sure to let me know and I will get back to you because I respond to all comments, all right? If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment. I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful day. Peace.